Let's solve one previous question of set theory. This question was asked in GATE CS 2015 set 3 question number 23. Suppose U is the power set of set S. S contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For any T belongs to U, let T cardinality denote number of elements in T and T dash denote the complement of T. For any T R belongs to U, let T by R be the set of all elements in T which are not in R. It's like difference. Which one of the following is true and four options are given. Let's check one by one option. Option A for all x belongs to U, x cardinality equals to x complement cardinality. Here S contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and x belongs to U. And what is U? U is the power set of set S. So U cardinality will be 2 power 6. It's 64. So for all x belongs to U, U contains 64 elements. X cardinality equals to X complement cardinality. It's wrong. Let X contain 1, 2, 1, 3. So here X cardinality equals to 3. Then X complement cardinality will be 64 minus 3. It's 61. Here X cardinality is not equals to X complement cardinality. It's wrong. Next option B. There exist X belongs to U. There exist Y belongs to U. Such that X cardinality equals to 5. Y cardinality equals to 5. And X intersection Y equals to 5. Let X contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and Y contain 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now X intersection Y, X intersection Y contain 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's not 5, it contain 4 element. So here it's written X intersection Y equals to 5. This is false, it may contain some elements. So X intersection Y cannot be always null this is wrong next option c for all x belongs to u for all y belongs to u x cardinality equals to 2 y cardinality equals to 3 and x by y equals to 5 let's take an example suppose x contain 2 5 y contain 1 3 5 here x cardinality equals to 2 y cardinality equals to 3 now x by y so that is the elements which are in x and not in y. So x by y will be 2. Here its cardinality equals to 1. But in option it's written it should be 5. In our example we found it's 1 so it is false. It's not always 5. Next option D for all x belongs to u for all y belongs to u x by y equals to y complement by x complement so let me simplify it x by y that we can write as x intersection y complement now y complement divide x complement that we can write as y complement intersection x complement complement x complement whole complement will be simply x so y complement intersection x Intersection is commutative, so you can write x intersection y complement. Now both are same, both are x intersection y complement. So you can say x by y is equivalent to y complement by x complement. Both are equivalents, hence answer will be option D. Here option A, option B and option C are false while option D is the answer, option D is true. I already discussed set theory, just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.